Welcome back to another video. Now, today is actually a pretty different video. So today I'm going to be doing a bit of a photography video. Um, now, I'm basically going to be pouring coffee and milk into a glass with um, ice and stuff and going to create a really cool effect. Um, you may have seen this video on 7th Era's channel, Liam. Um, he did the same, so you see that little originality there. Um, I haven't got it with me right now, but I'm going to be filming that quite a lot of this video on my old camera because obviously I need this camera to take the photos, so you have to go and mind the uh, the audio, the bad audio and the uh, visuals, but I think I'm going to have a solution sorted for the uh, audio soon. But I'm basically going to be creating the same thing, trying to get some really nice shots, doing a little bit of a Lightroom and Photoshop tutorial at the end. I'm going to head downstairs now. Right, so I'm downstairs now, and so basically we, I think we're going to use a cup a bit like this, so it's sort of long-ish, um, and you should be able to see the milk going around the ice, I think. Now, I wasn't actually sure what background I should do for this, so I ended up going for this thing. mum has got this little box thing here, and it's, it's like a light box, but it's got black ends, so I'm going to place the camera like, around here, and going to have the cup right there shooting at that, um, and I've got my light here. But we need to work out what camera angles we're going to use, uh, where the camera over there is going to go. Uh, we're going to, I'll just give you a time lapse of me working out all the lighting and the positioning and then we'll get back to you. Right, so something I just found out is, uh, obviously if you're going to do this at home, the coffee is hot, so when you put the ice in, you've got to make sure that you cool it, put it in your freezer, your fridge, whatever, make sure that the coffee is cooled before you put the ice in, otherwise the ice is going to melt, I, that's exactly what I did, but I've done, redone it now, um, but we're just going to need to get on the shot as soon, as quick as possible before it continues to melt and hopefully we can get some good shots. Aperture's on five. The shutter speed's on 200th of a second, and the ISO's on 3200. Now, ideally, um, I'd have my shutter speed higher. I haven't got much lighting, and I want to keep my ISO as low as possible um, to stop the grain, and 3200 is pretty high. We have to try 1 200th of a second and just see how it goes. One other thing is I did this uh, clever thing with my camera. So you set a 10 second timer, and then once that 10 seconds is up, it takes 10 shots, 10 burst shots. I'm gonna get ready, count down, and then I'll start pouring in the milk. And as I'm pouring in the milk, it should take 10 burst photos, which is probably not quite enough, but that is the max I can do. So I'm just gonna have to put out with that and see how it comes out. Right, wish me luck, put it here. All right, okay, so the first shots came out all right. They're definitely too late. Yeah, you can see I started too late and misjudged it. But the shots, they're, they're all right. Yeah, a little bit too late. So we're going to need to go a bit earlier and we'll go again. So I've actually just got some more coffee put in the fridge. Um, but what I look back from this video on this camera is that um, I poured it too quickly. I just chucked it in and it was just there wasn't enough time for it to slowly seep around the ice. It just all poured in. So I need to be slower and I also need to not pour as early as I did. Bones rolling. See the trend that's going on now. So last time I used to pour in too much milk. This time I didn't pour in enough milk, so I didn't even get around the eyes. So I'm gonna go for the third try. Hopefully we can get it good this time. What do they say? Third time's a charm. Hopefully they're right. Okay, come on. Third time's a charm.
Oh, I actually got a pretty decent shot there. Yeah, one of the first ones. Although the milk did spill down the side of the glass, so it's left like a white splodge, but we got some decent ones there. We're gonna go again though. All right, take four, here we go. Hoping this is gonna be the one we can nail it, come on. Oh yeah, there's not, it's not perfect, but this is, this is considerably better than the other ones. It's gonna need some light room work, which you are seeing on the screen right now. And I'm gonna give you a little tutorial at the end. I'd say those shots are pretty good. I think we'll go one or two more times, twice more. Let's go a few more times and see how much of a better shot we can take. Right, this is the fifth try now. Hopefully we can nail it, get an even better shot than last time. Let's go. Okay, so we've got some nice shots here. Could have been more milking or poured a bit earlier, but it's another nice shot. So we've got a few good ones here. So, and from the last try, obviously. So I might, I'm gonna go probably once more, final try. That'd be perfect if we can nail it then. And then we'll probably jump into Lightroom, take the best ones and see what we can do with the editing. Right, so there's basically no more ice in the fridge anymore. There's tiny bits left. So this is gonna be the last try. Fingers crossed, this goes really well. Okay, we got some pretty good shots here. This this first one's especially good, and we've got some more pretty nice photos. So we've got a few of those, a few ones from I think it was the third try or something. Yeah, definitely got some photos that we could use. Fingers crossed these can come out nicely in Lightroom and Photoshop. We're just gonna jump in my computer now, and I'll give you a mini editing tutorial of how, of how I'm gonna edit these photos. So overall, I'd say this photo shoot went pretty well. I mean, it would have been helpful if I had um, someone to pour the milk or something, because then I could have just taken as many shots as I wanted to while the other person's pouring the milk. But it doesn't really matter. I did get some quite good shots. Now I'm just gonna give you a little quick light editing tutorial for those of you who want to know, because I had a few of you that messaged me saying um, you'd like it if I made a light tutorial video. Um, so I just thought I'd add on the end of this a little tutorial of how I edited this. So now we are in Lightroom, as you can see here. Um, I bought up this image here, not necessarily the best image as I said, um, but just a good image for representation. So I'm going to start off by picking one of these presets down here. Now this is, uh, I'm going to use one of North Border's presets. I'm going to use Street and I'm going to use Golden Hour. So once you click on it, you think, whoa, that looks massive over the top if you see the before and after. Um, but to start off, what we're going to do is we're going to reduce the um, exposure a little bit. Uh, we're going to come down to the clarity and up the clarity a little bit um, to remove that sort of hazy, um, hazy effect. So already we've transformed the image to look a lot nicer than it was. Um, so I wanted the background in this image to be black, not this sort of turquoisey blue colour. Um, so we're just going to grab our brush tool right here. You can either use brush tool or graduated filter, but I'm just going to use brush tool, I feel it's simpler. So. We're just going to brush out all of this area around here, avoiding the milk and the cup. And we're just going to brush out all this background area. Oh, one other thing I forgot to mention um, is you want to set your brush your brush feather to probably about 100 or maybe if you want 80. I'm going to stick around 100 and you want to make sure that you have auto mask on. If you don't have auto mask on, um, what auto mask does is say there are two separate colours. You have black and white and they're touching each other but white over here, black over here. And your paint, you wanna, you wanna br like brush out the white, but you don't wanna brush the black. You can sort of go along the line and you can almost be in the black side, but it won't, um, it won't color in the black as it's a con heavily contrasted colors. Um, so it just helps you out a bit. If you're unsure on what that is, you can just research it up on YouTube. 
but I'm just gonna continue to brush out the rest of this. So another quick tip um, for when you're masking and drawing things out um, is to click uh, the shortcut is O on your keyboard and what it does is it sort of shows you what you're brushing in so the, whatever you brush will go red um, but if you don't want to click O you can also click um, you can also tick the box that says show selected mask overlay and you can see around here what I've masked has all gone red um, but now we're just going to click O and that will disappear and show us what we've got um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the exposure drop it all the way down and we can see that I've gone over the edge a bit here so we're just going to click option to rem it's like the remove brush tool and we're just going to brush this back in so as you can see we have now added that uh, we've, added, we've made the background black which is the intention we had in the first place um, now you can see the line at the bottom of the black isn't very neat, but at the end we can neaten that up, make that line perfect. Um, but just for the demonstration of this, I'm just going to do it quickly. But the next step we're going to do is we're going to grab our graduated filter, which is this little box here on the right hand side. We're going to click that and we're going to drag a line up from the bottom here. Clicking O to see what we're actually highlighting. Make sure that's level. And then we can see that we've highlighted all of the bottom, but we've also highlighted some of the cup, some of the, um, the glass. So we don't want to highlight that, we only want to highlight the wooden table. So the next step to do for that is to take the brush tool in the right hand side here, click brush, and then increase your brush size, which you can do down here or with your scroll wheel. Um, increase your brush size, then click option on a Mac, which is what I've done here, to bring up the minus tool, or you click the erase button in the bottom right here, and we're just going to rub out all of the cup that it is masking. So now we've removed um, all the overlay of the, over the uh, glass, we've only got the bottom highlighted, going to click O again, and we're just going to drop the exposure a little bit on that as well. Just to give it, just to bring more centre um, attention on the glass. So we drop the um, drop the exposure a bit there, and then we're going to click done. And that already so far we haven't finished yet, but this look at the difference. This this was the before, and this is the after already. So massive, massive differences. So what we're going to do now is we're going to grab our brush tool once again. My one of my favourite things is the brush tool. Um, so we're going to grab our brush tool. Uh, we're going to make it probably a little bit smaller than this. Make sure that auto mask is on yeah right here it's ticked and then we're just going to highlight um, all of the like the top bit of the glass and some of the milk so we're just going to do that now so now that we've highlighted it we're going to grab our temperature obviously clicking O to remove it we're going to grab our temperature and we're just going to drop it very slightly now that sort of, you can see if we drop it all the way, it just turns really blue, that's awful. Uh, but if we go all the way up, it'll go yellow. So go back to the middle where it was, we're just going to drop it very slightly to add a sort of blue tint to the uh, milk, my nice contrasting colours. What we're going to do now is going to come over to the crop section, and we're just going to apply a one by one crop, which is pretty much an Instagram crop. And I'm going to drag it into the position that we want it. I'd say that's a pretty good position, we'll click done. Okay, so now you can see that it's cropped in. We can see here the before and now the after. And we've got this really, really nice effect on the uh, glass. Obviously, we can neaten up these edges here, which we'll do in a sec. So the last thing we're going to actually do is just, we're just going to um, neaten up these black edges here. So I have neatened up the black edge, looks way, way better now. Um, but this is the before and this is the after. Okay, ready? So this is the before. This is the shot before we, like the original shot when we took it. And we're just going to apply the edit now. 
and that's what it looks like. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Hopefully you really enjoyed. And if you made it to this point, thank you so much um, for watching the entire video. If you want to see how all of these photos turned out in the end, then check out my Instagram. The link is in the description and I'll probably post a few of the best photos from the photo shoot and then you can check those out. But anyway, hopefully this video helped you, the Lightroom tutorial helped you and you enjoyed watching. Um, but anyway, I'll catch you in the next one.